three HDMI video source. One is Sony 4K DVD. Second is iPhone 二十 camera. The third is Sony camcorder. I connect three 4K Fable 179 Plus HDI capture card. First one, second one, third one, and run on PC OBS. Channel one is Sony DVD. Channel two is iPhone 二十 camera. The third is Sony camcorder. PIP, PIP two, PIP three. The PIP can re can change your location, what you want. PIP four, PIP five. If you have many HDI video source and want to do the lab training, you can do the PIP or video switch. You always think of the Enter Mini Pro video switcher. It it can connect many HDI video source and do the video switch or simple PIP. For this idea, we use iPhone as a camera. This one as a camera and use Sony camcorder. Sony camcorder and use Sony DVD. Sony DVD. See. When you use the Enter Mini Pro video switch, its video switch function is very powerful, but its PIP function is not good. For example, it just the PIP function is just like this one. Okay, you see, PIP function is not good. Just a small small PIP and the location is fixed, no no change. But if you use the HDI capture card. It can do a feasible and customize PIP and also do the video switch. It is very very customized. You can do anything what you want, but not all of HDMI capture card can connect many many HDMI capture card on a PC at the same time. Your HDMI capture card must be a USB box more. If not book more, your PC will not stable, and uh, it or it may be not work. Okay. In this video clip, I will show you multi HDMI capture card with PC and the video switcher in a PC. What is the difference? The first difference is the customized PIP. When you use the multi HDI capture card. You you can do the customized PIP. Maybe channel one is big, channel two is small, and the the location is different. But if you use the Enter Mini Pro or any video switch, the PIP location is fixed, not easy to change. The di the two difference the CPU loading. When you use the video switch, PC CPU Loading is very small, but when you use a multi HDI capture card connect to the PC, the CPU loading will be higher. So you need the very high powerful PC to do the lab training. Okay, I will show you how to use the multi HDI capture card and the lab training and do the different customized PIP and the video switch. Now. I use the 4K HDI capture card to replace the video switcher and mini pro. This is Fable 179 Plus HDMI 4K capture card. I connect a three three capture card. One Fable 179, the second Fable 179 Plus, the third Fable 179 Plus. So I use the three capture card. And uh, I will replace the Enter Mini Pro. Okay, I will show you what is the difference between the video switch. Okay, I turn on the OBS. This is one. This is the first one. Sony DVD. The second is Sony camcorder. The third is iPhone. This is iPhone. 
I will show you why is the difference. You see, uh, this is a so Sony 4K DVD player. I get the 4K 30 FPS. 4K 30 FPS. Okay, and uh, the second, I use a Sony camcorder. The video is 4 HD 60 FPS. And uh, the third, I use an uh, iPhone as a uh, camera. The video is 4HD 30fps. And uh, I, we can de develop the three video source and uh, do the PIP. This is the first one PIP. The second PIP. And uh, the third PIP. We also can edit what you want. For example, edit the Big is camcorder. Small is DVD player. Is small it. Okay. We also can edit another PIP four. Big is iPhone, small is camcorder. Okay, just this one. Okay, so do you understand what I say? When you use a independent HDMI capture card, you can make the customized PIP video. Maybe video source one and the uh, video source 3 PIP, it, it, they are the independence. But uh, you need notice, not all of 4K HDMI capture card can connect many, many capture card in a PC. Your 4K HDMI capture card must be USB book more, USB book more. It will let your PC be stable, okay? Channel 2 is iPhone as camera. The third is Sony camcorder. PIP PIP 2 PIP 3 The PIP can, re can change your location what you want. PIP 4 PIP 5 